Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back, of course, to the Time Bomb channel. Hope all is good in your part of the world. I've got a slightly random topic today. Um, it was, it's been kind of inspired by my sedan watch here. I mean, those regulars to the channel will know that I've had this one for a while, and he pops up on the channel from from time to time. But it essentially got me kind of thinking about you know tough guys, um, notorious guys, tyrants, despots. Um, you know, there's, there's 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 a plethora of them around the world um, in the past and at present, and it got me thinking about how the images, portraits, and likenesses of our favourite benefactors and thought leaders have got connections both on the the dials of wristwatches, but also the wristwatches that they themselves have have, have owned. Now, I'll just jump in here with a quick disclaimer before some people get their panties in a bunch. This vid is not about politics or political ideologies. It's a it's a video about the watch industry's relationship with politics and 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 people within that, of which I clearly form uh, no part of either. And in uh, celebration recognition of our tough guys, I'm wearing my Citizen Tough uh, today. I doubt any notorious uh, people around the world <laughs> rock this particular wristwatch, so I think I'm pretty safe with there. So just coming back to um, my my sedan watch here. Um, obviously, you know this is this is a toy version. However, um, with a a quick search on eBay, I think you'd be kind of surprised uh, to see the the number of well known big brands that were either commissioned or cajoled or have been modded to add on um, you know our, you know some smiley portraits of the uh, you know the the, the previous uh, leader of, of, of Iraq um, yeah probably enough said there let's let, let's move on um, one of one periodical uh, here in the UK specifically focused on the righteous within the within the population got themselves quite um, got themselves quite excited um, a few years back uh, about a particular wristwatch also and that of course then here is our uh, humble Casio F91. Um, yeah, maybe slightly embarrassingly for Casio, this is their best ever selling watch. It's a fine example of the cheap and cheerful and functional, and it is indeed loved by many. Um, I'm a myself, I, I mean, I like it because I describe it as being the anti watch, um, simply because it's everything, everything anti that most other designers are in. But I've struggled to wear it because the strap is too short. I've thrown it on NATO's, but um, yeah, I, I rarely wear it. It's just one that I've got in the in the collection. But um, if you're thinking about one of these, buyer beware. Um, if this little information release uh, from the CIA is to be believed, then you might yourselves be incorrectly labelled um, for, for, for having wearing, wearing one of these. Staying staying on the other side of the pond, we had these guys, another another newspaper over there, going full on clickbait around this watch, calling it uh, with that hyperbolic title there, the timepiece of terrorism. So yes, the humble F ninety one is the timepiece of terrible terrorism. So yeah, all we need now is a suitable me meme, please, for the hold my Pulitzer while I grab my F ninety one. Another quality periodical here in the UK made quite a big deal out of the Big Bag Daddy wearing an Omega. I wasn't quite sure at the time if that was sour grapes or more of what was being referred to as the new moral outrage. Hmm. So remember, if you're going to go to your next fancy, fancy dress party or Halloween and your Halloween outfit is going to be, you're going to be dressed as I'm a dinner jacket, then don't forget to mash your wristwatch appropriately. Anyway... Now that these guys have been rumbled uh, for their uh, F91s, um, I'm wondering which particular timepiece these chaps are going to be wearing. I can't identify the one in this particular photo, so if you can help out, then please do drop a comment down below. Added to which, if these reveals are of interest, then there's this superb Instagram feed that I've been following for quite a while now that I can highly recommend. It's called Watches of Espionage. Featuring some absolutely brilliant posts uh, with superb re research and reveals on the watches that have been worn over the years in some thoroughly, thoroughly interesting environments by some people of equal interest. So again, great work. Fascinating to see those posts. Highly, highly recommended. Then moving back to other parts of the world, um, I recall also a ruffle of excitement over uh, Kim Jong-un's uh, IWC. Now, uh, supposedly, this prompted the, the Swiss 
to decide that they would no longer be exporting to uh, North Korea. So allegedly, this closes the argument once and for all on whether our Swiss co cousins do or do not have a conscience after all. However, uh, readers of history uh, among you will know that this has, this 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 conscience uh, morality has been flexed um, in the past. Here we've got a fine fine example of moral elasticity. Curiously, those of the one particular political persuasion do seem to feature more on watches than others. Make of that what you will. I cannot, unfortunately, ID what Pol Pot is wearing here. So again, if you can help out, drop us a comment down below. Um, however, the current Cambodian, uh, Cambodian incumbent, Hun Sen, here is sporting, sporting a rather, rather exclusive Patek Philippe, rumoured to be a six-figure timepiece. Excellent. The best dressed revolutionary for me, the award has to go to Zapata. Um, yeah, fine, fine, fine outfit. But unfortunately, his, uh, his, his celebratory uh, wristwatch is a bit of a letdown. Uh, moving eastward. Again, uh, Chairman Mao features on lots of lots of different uh, watches, both both old and new and different budgets accordingly. Um, even Pooh Bear getting involved here with some serious watch photo uh, uh, bombing. Hope that the OG chairman is OK with that. Um, the man with the moustache, Mr. Stalin, of course, very, very popular indeed. And um, Baldy Locks himself, Lenin, also getting a second hand in here. For balance, on the other end of the spectrum, um, I found this one um, celebrating Benito. Um, yeah, just a little bit of a spectrum reference for you there. And then one of his mates, Rommel, apparently had a steel bracelet linked to Omega. Now, over here, we've got Vito, um, who himself, I believe, um, also wore an Omega. Whereas on the other side, um, the Singaporean big boss, um, viewed by different people with different perspectives, uh, was a big fan of Rolex. Other more regal offerings then coming from the country of Jordan. Staying in the Middle East, Yasser uh, pops up on some, on some watch dials with, with his mates. And then for equal contrast, so that nobody can argue that we're imbalanced on this channel, Yasser's neighbours also featuring on these watch, <laughs> this, this particular watch brand, who I may, believe made in the, the, you know, some various watches for the IDF and obviously the Mossad logo on this one. And of course, coming back here to the UK, the UK's greatest fan of all things Israeli, we have his uh, individual choice of watch, which was a Timex. All right, I'm going to reserve comment there and move on rapidly. Um, lastly, I did some digging um, around, but I, I struggled to identify the watch that Idi Amin is wearing in this particular photo. So again, if you can help out, guys, it'd be brilliant uh, if you're able to ID that for us. So... In conclusion, with our rather random run through uh, today of uh, timepieces, it seems that not only do the timepieces of these notorious uh, characters seem to be of great interest to many of us around the world. There's a lot of research and a lot of detail around connecting uh, you know, people with their wristwatches or certain people. It also seems to be then that there's equal importance placed by those notorious individuals on their wristwatches. Um, it's, it's, it's a really bizarre phenomenon. Anyway, I'm very much looking forward to then seeing some of the newer dictators pop up, on, pop up on wristwatches very soon. And if you've got any suggestions for sociopath uh, watch design, uh, drop us your ideas down below. Um, appreciate that today's topic has been a little bit risque, but please remember that this video is not should not be interpreted as a recommendation for any untoward um, ideologies. It's about wristwatches and wristwatches only. All right, guys. Thanks, as always, for your time and for your view. Very much excited to hear your thoughts and comments down below. And, of course, this is your host, The Bombardier, signing off. Cheers, guys.